right, good to meet you. Thank you for being here. Yes, of course. Thank really you. appreciate this. Support. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. We'll start in the All kind of races, Lord. We come together just so. U.S. Representative Jamal Bowman has been defeated in a Democratic primary that's highlighted some of the divisions within his own party when it comes to the Israel-Hamas war. On Tuesday night, Westchester County Executive George Latimer defeated Bowman in a Democratic primary for the seat that covers some of the suburbs north of New York City. Bowman has been an outspoken critic of Israel in the U.S. House and has accused that country's leaders of genocide for attacks on citizens in Gaza. Come on now! Save the party! Save America! Save the children! Do something about guns! Come on! Invest in education! They do not want us to speak up for the most vulnerable here. They definitely don't want us to speak up for the children and babies and innocent people of Gaza. That's right. They don't want us to speak up about that. Sir, George Latimer, I'm on the ballot. I know who you are. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. I'm George Latimer. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And, uh, Good morning, George Latimer. Nice to meet you. But I'm afraid that the, the more we focus on identity. One of the most progressive Democrats in the House. Bowman's defeat could signal some difficulties for others in his party when it comes to messaging around the war. Latimer has been Westchester County Executive since 2018 and is also a former state lawmaker. He says he got into the race at the urging of some Jewish leaders and had backing from high-level Democrats in his contest, including Hillary Clinton. How to handle the war between Israel and Hamas played a major role in Bowman's race, but we also could expect to see it in other contests up and down the ballot. That includes the presidential race this fall, as well as lots of other House and Senate races. Carry guns? You think you, more you guns lead to more death? Would you co-sponsor? More guns lead to more death. Would you co-sponsor? Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. 